let's take a look at what we're going to look at on the insert ribbon. The insert ribbon has a lot of really cool stuff, including illustrations, charts, text, and symbols. And uh, so here we here we could actually create a table. You know, and we could say, hey, that's going to be the size of the table and has headers. Okay, so that's one way you could start out just creating a table. Control Z to undo that. That's on the insert ribbon. We'll worry about, we'll, yeah, maybe we will worry about it actually, but we'll work with pivot tables in a, a different different video. But I put together just like a few pages here, what you can do with the insert uh, with the insert ribbon. Again, we have this table where I converted it to a range down there, but this is where it really gets cool. So let me just scroll over. And you can do all kinds of stuff. So this was my original table which is basically this one. And I want to make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to put the company's logo for the pet store up here. So to do that, I go to picture and I just browse my computer until I find the picture and I choose insert. And it puts the picture there. Well, I don't want that big box around it. So I could click that picture and it brings up this uh, context sensitive ribbon formatting pictures. And I could choose remove background. And then this little deal comes up where it says mark areas to keep and I want to keep that 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 right and then I do keep changes and voila I got rid of all the background and it kept my paw only I'm hitting undo so hit undo a couple of times here so that you can experiment with that when you download the project file the next thing I did was uh, I used some text here to put in Max's pet store so you have this thing over here called word art. It's just like some cool formatted text. And so I could type in Max's pet store. And then I could uh, just click on the edge there to select it all. And I could use these sizing things to change the size of it. And I could just drag that and put it into place. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to get rid of that. And uh, that, that was using uh, picture formatting, which we just saw. And then this arrow and this circle, these are drawing tools. I wanted to highlight this for you. So I use drawing tools to highlight that. And, you know, it's here. I call them drawing tools. They're illustrations, illustration shapes, right? So here I use the arrow. I put in an arrow. And I could change the size of this arrow by just grabbing it. And you could also see there's a little circle right there. And I could change the way it's pointing. And it brings up this context-sensitive ribbon again for formatting this item. And I could change its color. That was the outline. Now I could change the fill, right? And so I could really have a lot of control over this object. And there's a ton of objects which you can insert uh, here under shapes, a ton of shapes. So uh, we looked at drawing tools there, insert shapes. And then we also looked at word art, right, which was doing this. And then there's also this cool thing where I did insert text on the insert ribbon. So that's right here, text box. And I just click text box and start typing. And it brings up a text box. And I put text in it. And I can select that text box. And again, I have these formatting tools. And I could, I could format the outside of it. And I could format the inside of it. And so there's my text box now. And one more thing that's really cool about that is I could do this with the text box. I could come up here and now this text box, you see when my hand goes over it, it, it's like a link and I could click that and I could tell this text box when I, when I turn it into a link, I could tell it where to take people when they click it, right? So if I wanted to make that a link right here, I choose that text box, I go to insert and I choose hyperlink and I could choose a place in this document by typing in a cell, right? So I might be cell uh, let's do, I don't know, it's out at Z1 or XYZ, the very end of the first alphabet, Z1. But I could say that's where I want it to go. Or I could, you know, have it go to existing file or web page. Or I could have it go to a new document or even email me, right? So uh, I'm going to have it go to Z1, hit OK. And now I could click that and it takes me right there to Z1. You know, once you do this, once you make that object a hyperlink, you have to right-click it and choose Remove Hyperlink before you're able to move it or change it or edit it, just FYI. All right, so let's see the finished design. That's inserting text and using a hyperlink. What's this mean, see the finished design? Here's the finished design 
of the table looks pretty dang good.